Hello everyone. Uh, today I will talk about uh, chapter four, which is uh, EA implementation methodology. Firstly, the learning outcome. At the end of this topic, students should be able to uh, describe the idea of a methodology. So you should know what a methodology is. Number two, students should be able to describe the four phases of the EA implementation methodology in terms of the activities in those phases and also the input and outputs of those four phases. And lastly, uh, students should appreciate or understand the importance of one phase of the methodology to the other. We will begin with uh, the definition of methodology. Firstly, we need to know what is methodology. So these are two definitions of methodology. This was taken from uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary and also dictionary.com. Uh, as you can see that the first definition is uh, a body of methods, rules and postulates employed by a discipline. The second definition of a methodology is it is a set or system of methods, principles and rules for regulating a given discipline as in the arts or sciences. So from this uh, two definitions, you can see that methodology is not only about uh, steps, it's not only about processes, but also the methods, the approach, the rules that governs this processes, the tools and techniques, the principles. So all of that constitute a methodology. So it's common that we try to associate uh, methodology with uh, steps, with process, but uh, steps and process are part of a methodology. There are many EA implementation methodology. There are public ones, uh, the one that is open to everyone to, to adopt, such as uh, TOGAF. And also there are methodologies that is um, pertains to a particular consultant. So there will be consultant companies who has their own uh, EA implementation methodology. But for this particular course, we are going to focus on these four phases of the EA implementation methodology. I'm sure that all these EA implementation methodologies, they are kind of overlapping between one another, but the underlying principles of adopting EA implementation in organization is the same. For this particular methodology, there are four phases. Phase number one is EA program establishment. Phase number two is EA framework and tool selection. Phase number three is documentation of the EA. And lastly, phase number four is the use and maintain the EA. Altogether, there are 20 steps. But I feel that you are able to understand all of these four phases uh, by looking at the um, what the purpose of these phases are. Of course, in phase one, you need to establish the EA program. And then phase two, you need to select uh, tools and also the framework that you are going to adopt in implementing the EA. So once you have selected the framework and tools to use, then you can proceed with the documentation of uh, all of the components uh, in the organization. And once you have done with that, what you need to do after after that will be uh, using it and also maintain um, the EA. Let's begin with the first uh, phase, 